Welcome to MacBook Lessons number five, a lesson a day made easy for you on Facebook. Today we're going to talk about security and privacy. We are going to go to System Preferences and we're going to click on the personal row on security and privacy. The first thing you'll notice is that under this tab you can actually change your password. Now there's multiple ways you can change your password. This is just one of the ways, but it is good to know where those places are in case you need to change it. You can require a password right here. So if you like to have your screen lock after a certain amount of time, you can actually click this box and set the time so that you can have it lock after five minutes or so. You'll notice the others are grayed out. And as with most of the items in this menu, if it's grayed out, there's a lock button down here and you have to have it unlocked to get in. So we're going to click on it and we're going to unlock it. And you'll notice now that I have available to me the show a message when the screen is locked. So I can actually set a message. So you see I have a message now, joking around, highlighted yellow from yesterday. So you can actually change that message to whatever you want. You can disable automatic login. So every time that your computer is shut or your computer falls asleep, you're forcing every, everyone who gets on to actually have to log into the computer. The next one is allow applications downloaded from. This actually is a very important piece. If you get on a, on a website or something, you want to download a piece of software, a lot of times it'll tell you that you can't download it. And the reason you can't download it is because you have this checked to either the Mac App Store or Mac App Store and identified developers. And whoever you're trying to download from is not an identified developer. So if that happens to you, you can actually come in here and click anywhere and then you'll be able to download that software. Under File Vault, if you like to have your stuff encrypted, if you have highly sensitive stuff on your computer, this might be important to you. You can turn that on here. Under Firewall, you actually can turn off your firewall if you're having issues, maybe in a school or something. Or you can come in here to Firewall Options and you can actually allow things to come in from different places. You'll see, for instance, I have Dropbox open. There's a lot of different programs that you may actually want to have open so that your computer can communicate with it every time you open. All you have to do is come down here and click plus and it'll actually come into your applications and let you choose which ones you want to have constant contact with. You can check to have, your autom have it automatically allow signed software to receive income connections. If you uncheck, it's not going to allow it to come in without you checking this. And you can also enable stealth mode so that you're under the radar, I guess. It's a good way to put it. So we're going to cancel this, go back out, and we're going to look at privacy. So you'll notice in here I have location services. If I want Safari to not know where I am or not be able to find where I am, pinpoint where I am, I can uncheck it under privacy right here. I can do the same with contacts. If I don't want any programs to be able to get into my contacts, I can uncheck them here. And this is where you actually can come in and let Apple see what's going on on your computer to help them out. The last place under security and privacy is advanced. Advanced actually lets you set up to log out after so many minutes, require administrator password to access locked preferences, <clears throat> automatically update safe download list. So in your profile, you have the safe download list. So this is actually allowing it to update it regularly. In case someone becomes unsafe, it'll, they'll take them out of the list. And then finally, disable remote control infrared receiver. I really like this one because when I am using my, uh, my Apple TV and I'm using the remote control, if I push play, it automatically plays the music on my laptop if I have it in the same room. So this is good to know where this is. Again, it's under the advanced tab right here. 
disable remote control infrared receiver. So you won't be able to turn your music on from the remote for your Apple TV. You can also pair your stuff right here. So that's basically it today with security and privacy. I hope that helped you out and I look forward to seeing you on Monday.